Am I right? We're going to start with a Mr. Dar 30 size 10 dry fly hook. This is uh, a golden yellow LK Caddis. So we'll just attach our tying thread. Go back. All the way to there. Remove that. Now what we need is a uh, some very fine. This is a number twenty-seven copper wire. And I don't think it's necessary to overdo copper wire, especially on dry flies. I don't normally include it unless it's really necessary. And just tag that in along the hoop shank. There we go. Just open that tying thread again. I just want to even out the body a little here with uh, tying thread. Because I'm not going to do the original um, with hairs here on the body. I like to do it with a uh, with a floss body. I'll just open that thread again, make it flat, and just build up the uh, the underbody so you get a light taper. Okay, once you've built up the body with a nice tapered form, then we need a piece of uh, a length of golden yellow floss and just attach that there and if you go back three four five times you can just pull that in and under so it disappears all right that didn't work well let's trim that off again So, and then we just go back to where we tied in the copper wire. Give that a spin again, and up once again to the hook eye. Perfect, there we go. Now, when we're doing the floss, flatten it out first. And then hand over hand. Like so. Overlapping slightly with every turn. and cover the whole body. There we go. So I can just tie that off now. Like so. And remove the floss. Now we need a hackle, red game, uh, brown, prepare your hackle as so, I'll just spin that thread, Maybe a little bit further back the tying thread, now we need this to stand 90 degrees to the hook shank, so once over from left to right with the tying thread and then across from right to left with the tying thread. That will give you the correct attitude on the hackle to make it stand 90 degrees. Then we just have to remove this 
leave a little bit because you want to tie it down. There we go. And then we'll just tie that down behind the hook eye and go back up again to there. Now a hackle plier, place this on the tip of the hackle like so. And we want to make this nice, even, evenly spaced turns all the way back. And one more should do us. There we go. Now, your copper wire, now you've wound your hackle clockwise, so your uh, copper wire has to go the opposite direction. Sorry, this is the way. Let me just go around that, like that first, catch in the hackle and then we want to go there, there. So this will hold the hackle in place along the body of the fly all the way. Once we've reached there we can take off the hackle plier. Let's give that a spin. And tie off the copper wire. Sort those out in a second. And remove the copper wire. And very carefully the point to the hackle. Alright, now we need some bleached cow elk, preferably elk hock. We need a small uh, bunch of that. Cleaned and stacked. There you go, that should do us. Take that out. Take a look at this wing. So I'll hold that in position there. Once around under and tighten. There we go. Just tie this in. lift underneath just to lift the head a little you need a whip finisher Remove 
the odd tying thread. Now collect the whole head of the wing and with a very sharp knife place it underneath like so. Just have to have a look at that, there's a couple there that I need to sort out. But that's it, I reckon. Over there. Oh, that's looking good. Golden yellow LK Caddis.